Hello everybody, Grace Two Plays, and we're back with more Colony Survival. This is a pretty fun game. I gotta tell you, I really like it. One of the things that I wanna do, you guys were saying, take us a couple of your suggestions. One, we're gonna move the smelter down into the mine. Someone said I didn't put a, um, someone said I didn't put a storage chest down in the mine. Did I not? While we're at it, uh, let us go ahead and grab the smelter. Sorry, buddy. I'm taking it from you. Don't worry though. You're gonna get it back in just a second. We're gonna grab the smelter We're gonna bring it down here. Let me go. Ow. Let me go break my legs as I jump on down Obviously you can't take it. I didn't I could have sworn I put one down here, but clearly I did not I am a lying person of great and epic fortitude. All right, there we go We got a smelter down. We got a uh, crate down over here so people can utilize it Hopefully scumbags will be moving down here in short order you go ahead and hop my happy ass on up out of here. Oh, how I had to dig into the bottommost layers of the universe. I think everyone's quite happy. We have our mentor over here doing his thing. We've got uh, things being prepared. Our farmers working hard. So one of the things that I want to do is create the moat. I really want to fix these guard towers. Uh, actually, I want to fix a couple of things. First thing I want to do is extend our castle so that it's equidistant on both sides because that finally is annoying me. It's so hard. I have to try and make these for you guys in a certain amount of time. Uh, but there's points where even I'm annoyed, so I do have to do that. Also, while we're at it, I am going to go ahead. We have entrances on both sides. Yes, we do. I'm going to go ahead and just close this up here because that guy never needs to come down again. So there's really nothing for him to worry about. Actually, you know what? Hold on. I can give him a little opening thing like that if I wanted to. I could probably even open up these areas. What would this look like if I did such a thing? Um, I don't know. I don't know how. I don't know if I like that or not. I don't know if that looks castly enough. I don't know. I'll figure it out in a little bit. Anyway, we could even put a. Uh, we can even put a front entrance over here. It's not like it's a really big deal, is it? Like I could go like this. And like this and now we have entrances on all sides. Does it really matter? It probably doesn't one of the things I just did by the way is get rid of depth of field I don't know how you guys feel about depth of field. I hate it Um, it's weird because like it hurts my eyes. I guess I'll say okay So one of the things I definitely want to do is make a moat Um now no one works at night, so I don't have to worry about our field people getting killed Um, but I do definitely want to moat and we have this water over here and I think let me check now I think, oh yeah, as you move, the water moves as well, so if we keep going like this, I imagine the water is going to follow us, hold on, let me check this out here, yes, the water follows, so you can legitimately build a moat, oh, it's so good, all right, um, let's think about this, I want to think about how wide I want my castle in the end, because we're going to extend our castle and probably build a bunch of more sections. Because I want to build, like, I want to make it look more realistic. So I want, like, stores inside for all of, like, our smelters and stuff like that. Because right now it's all just, like, outside. And, like, that's efficient, I guess. But I'd rather have them inside of the kingdom. You know what I mean? Or at least have, like, stores outside where they do that. Actually, that might be better. Like, stores outside where they do their smelting and stuff. All right, I'm gonna start working on the moat over here. We're gonna get attacked during the night. I think I'm gonna move the moat out a bunch of more blocks just because, and that's what we're gonna start on this. One of the things the developer was saying, oh, and I can't wait for this too. Oh, crap. Is he was saying that, um, actually, this is fine. I can still get out. He was saying that eventually he wants to be able to have you assign jobs to your, your guys. And then they'll do this stuff for you. Like, they'll build and things for you. Oh my god, that would be so amazing if we got that. Now, I see there's a couple of zombies over there. I want to be very, very careful about this. I want to make absolutely sure that these zombies cannot somehow, like, penetrate our walls. I'm watching. Okay, good. They're definitely not penetrating the walls. They appear to be coming around to the front. And now, can our single schmuck over there... Do his due diligence and hit, yeah, take those zombies down. And can he take down this zombie over here? Well, maybe not. So I guess I am going to have to keep an eye out. Oh, the moat's going to work good. 
It forces them to walk around the side of the building. Oh, that's so good. Where is he going? He's like way in the back now. Where are you going, zombie? Hold on over here. You can't get in here, can you? Ah, yes. All they can do is walk sadly toward the entrance as the night moves on. And my man is doing an excellent job of killing them. But yeah, eventually, I want a guard on every corner. And this guy's going to get erased. He's not going to be there any longer. But I want a guy in every corner. Yeah, see, right here. Right here is like his blind spot. And that's the other reason that I want a guard on every corner. And probably the other reason that we're going to have to uh, get more fields and stuff. I definitely want to get more arrows crafted too. Because I don't believe that we at all have enough arrows right now. This is definitely the faster way to build the moat. I was doing it the wrong way by doing it like uh, one column at a time. If you do it like this, it's almost like the longer you hold down the quicker the building goes. So if you hold it down in one shot, it like moves a lot faster. What's really cool is this looks like a hedge maze from down here. Like as I'm doing this, it looks kind of neat. Like you'd almost want to make this as like a garden. Like I said, I'll bet a bunch of you guys have much, much better building capabilities than old gray. And if you made this, I'll bet it would look friggin' legit. All right, we now have a moat surrounding our place. I feel like it should have like a drawbridge or something though, but right now, like this is all it is. Like to make this moat much wider is gonna take me a ton of time, which isn't a big thing. Like I don't mind spending time on it. It's just something that I am eventually going to have to do. Now that we've done this though, one of the things that we're gonna have to have happen here is we're gonna have to change the size of the walls of our castle. So I think that's gonna be on the chopping block next. Oh, this moat is the best. It forces all the creatures to come wide around the building. Um, when I move this stuff, I could probably make this moat even wider. Oh, it would be perfect. In fact, I want to make this moat eventually like more, maybe like four bricks wide. That would be fantastic. But watch. The zombies has to have to come all the way out because of the moat. And our guy over here just friggin' assassinates him at range. Oh, it's so good. I'm also getting the uh, building to the point where all the door, uh, all the walls are the same distance. So I'm almost done with that now. I'm just, I've got to continue to uh, mess around with these ones over here. Actually, with this moat, the way it works, we only need to have guards in the front of our building, come to think of it. Like, maybe like a guard right there and a guard right there, and that's pretty much it. Like, this zombie over here really wants a piece of old gray. Well, guess what, zombie? You, ooh, I just got freaking hammered right in the back. I should have been watching my ass. That's what I get. Speaking of watching your ass, this zombie got a friggin' arrow right in the ass. Okay, yeah, Gray's gotta move back over here. I'm getting a little bit too close for comfort. In fact, you know what, zombies? Get some of my own retribution. Blam to you. Oh, watch this. From way downtown. Blam over there. I'm a maniac with this bow and arrow. No one knows about my bow skills. Watch this. Bam! Look at that right there. Snipes all day. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a 360. Alright, never mind. That guy, that guy died from my guard. Really? You killed the last one? I can't even do a 360 no-scope because of you? I can't even do a 360 no-scope! He killed the last zombie! Well... I... I... I could have done it. You boys know I... I could have done it. Another beautiful day outside. Lovely, lovely as it is. I should have enough bricks to finish this up. This is going to be the final crapola. This is gonna be... <laughs> crapola. I don't think I've said that in like 20 years. This is gonna be the final width right over there for right now. So now our castle is the same width on both sides, which makes me very, very happy. Which means that now I can finish up the top over here. I think what I'm going to do, though, let's go ahead and walk on in here. We need some steps going up here. I think I'm going to build, like, some steps over here. I think I have some wood. Yeah, I do. So let's build some steps like this. Hold on. Build some steps going up to the top over here. There we go. Looks pretty legit. There we go. Now I can get steps to go way up here. I don't know if I'm going to keep them there or not. I, it probably, they do take up a lot of space. I'm not really sure. But uh, let's go ahead. Crap. Let's go ahead and finish putting these guys where they should be. Oh, yeah. Oh, that looks, that looks majestic. Just like that, Gray. Oh, your square is, is coming along nicely. That, I told, I told you guys. That's my, that's my ability. My ability is the square 
and then the reinforced square. That's, th those are my, that's the, <laughs> the full power of my creativity. All right, we're almost there. I've got to get a couple of more bricks. We're going to have that done. And then I think what we're going to do is we're going to start building some shops out here. The food situation is going up. So I'm pretty happy about that. In fact, real quick, let's put down another wheat field. Also, how do I heal myself? Um, because I still haven't, like, I still haven't a thing that says that I'm allowed to heal myself or anything like that. I'm going to go ahead and put down a nice one here. Another 10 by 10. 10 by 10 seems to be the best. Boom. There it is. All right, so we've got another one. Oh, you guys were saying if I keep the uh, the seeds in the stockpile, they'll go ahead and plant themselves. That sounds perfect. So what I'm going to do is let's go back over here and recruit um, at least one more colonist. We do have some extra food. Actually, we have quite a bit of extra food. So, oh, I need beds. I need beds first. Okay, let's go make some beds real quick. All right, we've got colonists out the yin-yang now. Well, we have quite a few colonists. I'm going to go ahead and take this guy's quiver, and I'm going to move this. Uh, I'm going to put it... I think I'm going to put it here for right now. That should do just fine. Um, so he should be okay. He says he needs a bow. That's that's kind of odd. It looks like if you unrecruit them, they lose their bow. That's kind of interesting. So I had to make myself another bow. But anyway, I have a bow made. He should go up there and grab that. Okay, good. Oh, and our dude is planting his own field. Oh, that's so good. All right, so now that that's a reality, something I probably want to do is get a ground here instead of grass. It feels weird having grass. I feel like we should have a legitimate wooden floor or something. I think I'm going to get a forest done. We should have a we should have plenty of food for everything that we need. Um so let's go ahead and make a forester. Let's see. I think I'm going to put the forester over here. Actually, this entire area has been really really good to me. So this should be just fine. Uh let's go over here. Not a wheat farmer. That's not what I want. I want Forester, here we go. All right, so let's go ahead and make a forest real quick. Do I want to continue to extend it out this way? Yeah, I think I do. Um, let's go ahead and continue to extend it out here. Again, I'm assuming 10 by 10 is okay for the forest. So there we go. There's a forester. Now we don't have, there's no one to take the job. Um, and I think that we have seeds inside. Yeah, there's, there's 30 saplings, so 31 saplings. So I wonder if this is too big because that's obviously a lot more than 31. In fact, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go hire my forester right now. So I'm going to go make another bed, get another forester, and then we're going to have almost everything made at this point except for... What else do I need? We don't have an artisan's bench, a workbench for an artisan. We don't have one of those yet. We can get that in a little bit. I started making our moat wider. I want our moat, like, uh, at least two more bricks wide. It's going to be a while, though. Okay, so one of the things that we got was a forester... So let's see. Oh, there he goes. Yeah. He's planting trees in there, have you? Oh, wow. The trees take up a lot of space. I should have thought about that. Well, that's fine. Um, I think we can extend our foresting space if we want to. Nope, you can't. It actually says cut. it's too large when you go one over. So, all right. Well, that's fine. So our foresting area is currently as big as it can possibly get. And that's fine. I put some uh, extra crates down as well so people can use the crates. So now we were talking about, like, getting shops and stuff done. I almost feel like I want, like, a little marketplace. You know what I mean? Like a... Like, I want that feel. Like, you come into the kingdom, and there's, like, a market... Ow. I just fell into the mine. Everything's fine, though. No big deal. And there's, like, a marketplace that you can visit. So how would I want that, I wonder? Do, do I want the marketplace, like, leading up to the drawbridge? We won't have enough space, though, because... Well... We could build however we want. It's our place. I've got plenty of, uh, I got plenty of grass. So I actually could make the marketplace on this side. You know what? Hmm. Sometimes I forget that, like, it's our kingdom to build. So we can do whatever we want. We can manipulate the countryside. We can make mountains. We can destroy mountains. We can do all kinds of stuff. I wonder how big this lake goes. One of the things I haven't done was I haven't looked to see what's on the other side of this lake. I kind of feel like I should do a little bit of exploring, especially since the creator said how advanced 
the world is, like how there's actually poles and stuff like that, that you can find. Um, so that would be pretty neat too if we found like a wintry area. I haven't seen anything like that. I mean, I haven't found anything like that as well. I'm gonna extend this a little, a little bit more. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and build our little marketplace. And like I said, guys, if you ever have suggestions, feel free to let me know. Like you guys were saying, um, you know, to fix the fix the towers and stuff like that. I always wanted to do that. Um, obviously, it just it it, just, it took a little bit, and it's gonna take a lot more. There's a lot more I still have to do. Like I'm gonna extend this out. I think one more. I mean this this front here, so that I don't have these corners missing like they are right now. In fact, I might do that. I'll do that in a little bit. I need a couple more pieces of grass, though, to finish filling this out. Luckily, we have plenty in storage. Yeah, you boys know how it is. Sometimes... Crap. I was gonna say, sometimes you gotta lay down the lawn. And I'm stuck in the water. Jump out, buddy. Jump out. All right. I can't jump out for some reason. Uh, there we go. Little bit of a cheat right there. I'll just get rid of some of the sand and get out that way. Where there's a will, there's a way. Where there's a will, there is a way. One person asked me one time if I was humming... One of the th uh, the themes from the Lord of the Rings animated series. I'm guessing that's where there's a whip, there's a way. No, it wasn't that. It was um, what is that song? The heavy, from uh, from um, what you call it? Team Fortress Two says every once in a while. You know the da 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 da. Whatever that is. Oh wow, he actually planted quite a few. Why do I have saplings in my inventory? That's very odd. I don't know why I had saplings to begin with. But whatever. I've started making my very first little stall over here. You can see we got a little some windows. This is the doorway that the guy will go there. I wish it was like a legitimate door that they could open. Uh, and I'm gonna put one of the objects in here, and this will be like the guy's stall. So like maybe like the merchant or something like that. I'll put that in there so he can hang out in there and service customers and stuff like that. I wonder if I should make, like, right now it's just like an overhang. Like, I picture this as being, like, the, the, the crappy little leaf and straw overhang that, like, some sort of sad little abode would have. But I wonder if I should put something else there. We've got new materials that we can have if we go ahead and plant the flax. The big thing is, right now, I want to make sure that our food situation is nice and taken care of. Look at this zombie traveling down there. You gotta be kidding me. Well, to be fair, I guess... That is a thing that they could do. Um, and then, well, we still have actually a lot of arrows, so I don't have to worry about that. I think during the night right now, now that we're getting our own little stores open, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue kind of working on the moat. And yeah, your body just fell right into my moat, you sad jerk. There you go, you son of a... Yeah, keep dying. These zombies don't stand a chance against my elite archer, although there are definitely more zombies starting to come now. I got an achievement a little while ago. It said, like, large colony or something like that. Like, the, college, the colony was getting legitimately large enough to the point where I wonder if, like, many, many more zombies will, in fact, be coming. Anyway, let me go ahead and continue to get rid of all these blocks. I found something that I can do to help myself out is I can leave, like, one block up every once in a while. And that'll allow me to uh, kind of get out of here when I'm done. Ooh, the food is flowing now, boys. Also, look at our little tree area over there. It's looking pretty good. I think he's hacking down trees and stuff. Oh, crap. Well, that's bad. I just fell into the water. Um, this is okay, though. I think we can fix this. I think I can fix this. There we are. Like I said, every once in a while, I can kind of pop myself. Really? <laughs> oh, my God. Hold on. Let me... Let, there we go. All right. Yeah, leave it to Gray to screw up and try and drown himself every five minutes. You can see I'm kind of injured right now. That's usually from me falling into the mine at night when it's, like, super dark outside because it does get legitimately pretty dark. Yeah, now our moat is starting to look pretty good, baby. One more, and I think it will be pretty, pretty sweet for the most part. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, I kind of want to... I know what I want to do. There we go. Now we legitimately have a drawbridge. Like, the water actually goes underneath the drawbridge, which is kind of sweet. So that's pretty good. I think this would definitely benefit from having a wider and more awesome moat, though. All right, I got to fix... I gotta fix this top portion here. It's finally bothering me to the point where I need to fix this. Let me go ahead and hop up here real quick. Oh, you know what we need? We need more stone. Um, like, oh, actually, I think I have a ton of stone still. Oh, thank God. 
Yes, plenty of stone bricks. Temperate grass, you can go in there. I have no need for you at this time. I think soon I'm going to be getting rooms for these poor people. Look at how many beds. We're going to have to make this castle way bigger. Like, I think I'm going to start extending backwards like I had meant to. Um, because that's definitely going to need to happen. Anyway, I want to get one more colonist over here. Boom. I want to get one more colonist because I want one more guard now. I want another guard up here. Hold on now. We've got a couple of things. We've got a quiver. And I'm going to have to give him a bow. Blam. Right over there. He should pick that up. Right up here. Come on up here. And now he should be satisfied being an archer. Excellent. 126 arrows still. So that's looking good. I fixed up this front over here. So now it should look... There we go. Oh. Oh. Finally, it looks like a real castle thing. I wish I had like a coat of arms I could put up here or something like that. We also have a ton of straw. I wonder what straw looks like for a roof. It says that you can use it for uh, roofs in there, have you? So, straw. Oh, I guess you can't do anything with it. Well, how about the linseed? Let's try that. In fact, one of the things I think I'd like to do is to get that flax seed prepared. Right now, we should have... The logs are starting to flow in, which is excellent, which means that the leaves are starting to flow in because he's taken down the entire tree, as it were. You can see our trees over here sprouting in there, have you, every once in a while. Now, does it? Does he get the seeds back? He definitely gets the seeds back because he still has a ton of saplings. You guys really like to walk the long way, don't you? Now they're doing their thing. I'm going to go ahead and grab, like, the very first thing that we have, which is this thing. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna move this in here. So this is the shop, if I remember correctly. This is like with the flaxseed and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and put that... I'm gonna put it... like right there. So that our dude like sits behind it and faces out. I think that'll work like that. I could also put a storage container in there. I don't know if he needs one in there, but I think I'm gonna put one in there anyway. Let's go ahead, just because, like, I think everyone realistically needs a storage container for something. So let's go ahead and put a storage container right over there. That looks fine. Yeah, right like that. Our guy will go inside, he'll be sitting in there. So, now, let's go ahead and buy the flax seeds. How many coins, how much does it cost, as a matter of fact? If I go over here, it says, uh, whoa. Oh, crap. Ow, holy Jesus. Oh, I almost died just then. Hold on. Ugh. I got to jump. Look at that. 16. Okay, good. My health is starting to go back up. 32. So I guess you regenerate back to 50% health. Is that how it goes? Because, like, I don't appear to regenerate above 50%. I just appear to regenerate to exactly 50%. I'm not 100% sure. These guys are really good at shooting zombies right in the ass. I don't know what the deal is for that. Okay. The zombie apocalypse here is starting to get real. That's a lot more zombies than we normally get. Holy crap, I'm glad I recruited a second freaking guard. Because we need them now. Look at them. They are dying left and right. There's bodies and blood and spitting ass everywhere. Now, to be fair, we do have 480 food. Actually, while these guys are, are whooping that zombie ass, I think what I'm going to do real quick is build another bed. Um, and the reason why is so that we can get an artisan. Because that's something that we actually don't have right now. Is we don't have an artisan. All oh, these beds are getting out of control. Another bed right there. Let me go overhead here and bring yet another new colonist into the world. So another new colonist comes into the world. I could also, like, have all these shops go together. In fact, I may do that. What I might do, hold on now, is I might build this shop outward like this. And then have a door going right there. This way they can all, they're like co-joined. It's like a strip mall, man. I'm making a medieval strip mall. That's effectively what I'm doing. Man, it is a freaking zombathon over here. There is zombies all over the place. Ah, but when the birds start chirping, boys. When the birds start chirping, that means that all is well. All the zombies freaking, I don't know, go wherever zombies go. And we are back over here with our lush... Temperate leaf, uh, I'm gonna call this, um, accents, yes, they're building accents. See, like that right there. Now we have a legitimate strip mall starting to go on. All I have to do is build these guys. There we go, little wall. So now we can go over here. I, I put an entrance back here. Like, yes, look! Our guy, he's facing the wrong way, though. Um, 
Unless, is that two men standing in the same spot? That looks like two men standing in the same spot. I have no idea right now what this gentleman is doing. We have 407 food. That is absolutely glorious. There we go. Now our boys cut this. Face the right direction, damn it. That's what I like to do. I think that guy over there is like doing something legitimately with that. I don't know what you're doing exactly. Did you just make something? Did you just make something without my consent? Oh, he's making planks. Well, that's nice. Uh, yeah, go ahead and make planks. What else do we want right now? He can make beds. Ooh, you know what? Go ahead and make, go ahead and make like six more beds so that those are all prepared. I would appreciate that. 200 arrows. Uh, yeah, go ahead and always make sure that we have 200 arrows. Uh, we don't need any shops. We don't need any mints. Uh, oh, he makes linseed oil and he can make coated planks. Okay, so his job is to make sure that we always have this much stuff in the inventory of our, our place. So let's make sure that we always have a couple of torches and a couple of quivers and stuff. Yeah, see, he runs back and forth uh, to his little his little uh, crate right over there. Oh, it's perfect. Oh, it's working out perfect. All right, man, I did a little bit of work off camera. We got the flax seed going down now. We bought flax. We got 100 flax seeds. We got our three fields of wheat. We've got a foresting area. I went ahead and flared out the top portion of the castle. I don't know. I mean, I think it feels a little bit more castly, but I'm going to want to make it way taller. I think I'm going to make it at least two, maybe even three levels, but I like the flared look. It makes it look a little bit better. Widen the moat out another shot there. Now our moat is three wide. Got some uh, railings over here for our little drawbridge. Huh? Looking pretty legit. Let me tell you, this drawbridge is the stuff, baby. Oh, this drawbridge and the moat is absolutely fantastic. It stops anything from getting in. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this episode of Colony Survival. Very cute little game. Really enjoying this. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.